half a million acres of rainforest are cut down in Ecuador every year. Luis and Santiago are racing to collect as many species as they can to breed in captivity before they disappear in the wild. Hey, Jeff, come here. What's up? This is treacherous terrain. There is a fantastic frog that I want to show you here. Yeah? Yeah. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks like some sort of tree frog. Yeah, it's a tree frog. It's got suction discs. Uh -huh. Can I hold it? Sure. What is special about this animal is that uh, this species is unknown to science. Really? Totally yeah. unknown? Totally unknown. We discovered it very recently. Really? And because of that, we don't know almost anything about how do they live. Really? What do they eat? What do they do to survive in the forest? It is completely unknown. And uh, what is fascinating about working in these places is that very frequently you find animals like this that are completely unknown to mankind. As the forests disappear, species like this could go extinct before we even know they exist. It takes about three years for newly discovered species to be formally recognized by science and a lot can change in three years. The situation is critical. The forest in Ecuador is disappearing faster than anywhere else in Latin America. Today, less than half of the original forest remains. Just a few weeks ago, all of this was a pristine rainforest, but as you can see, the trees that once grew here have been decimated. What's left behind is this and fertile soil. Add climate change to the mix, and you've got a recipe for disaster. To fully appreciate the impact of what that could mean, I head into the forest at night.